health nurse. I work for the region of Peel. My dad sponsored us, my sister and I, and we came to Canada in July of 2003. So I, I actually turned 17 exactly two weeks after we arrived. My sister and I lived with my stepmom and my dad, and, and my sister was in, in the States at that time, but something's happened in the house, which I won't really go into detail, but I had to move out. So I moved out of the house and rented a room in 2006. And this was just before I started nursing school. So in September, my sister actually joined me in that place. And I soon realized that I could not continue to pay my rent. My OSAP was running out. So we moved to a shelter that was close to December in 2006. Um, it was more temporary. Pretty much overstayed our welcome. We had to move out. And the, like, we were just left stranded at the time. I guess it was a counselor or a social worker at the time suggested that there was a, another shelter that had a program called Stay in School. So she would give us a referral. So my sister actually um, was accepted to live at YWS before me because she was under 16. So she had priority. And a month or so after I joined, her here and so that's how I, I ended up coming here. Many, many other routes <laughs> and options could have come my way, but I know this and this is something I've come to really, really appreciate that my coming here was a great opportunity that I didn't see at the time that I was here, but now, um, I'm just at a point where before I came to this point, I was so embarrassed I couldn't even share or let people know, talk about the fact that I used to live in a shelter, but I didn't even see the shelter, I know where a shelter is located. But if I had not come here, I'm sure I would not have been able to graduate or even stayed, I would not have been able to stay in school. So the program actually in, uh, defines itself. It helped me to stay in school. That's exactly what it did. So that was quite, quite an accomplishment. I would not be where I am today without my experience here. I believe mean that it, it had a great contribution to where I am now. And I've come to a point where where I, I really, really understand and know why I actually came here. It was not only to get sheltered, but to build on my self-esteem, to build on who I am, and to add value to my life, to be able to add value to the life of other people. Because I see it, like now, I, I'm much stronger. I didn't see it then. So I'd actually really, really encourage every person, every organization that is capable. And when I say capable, I don't mean a huge donation, but every little thing counts. And living, having lived here before, it's like, wow. I remember when. Um, my myself and my team came in to make uh, dinner, <laughs> and it was so satisfying. And I was just so touched to be to be able to come back and say, "I I love you guys, and I believe in you, and this is just the little way I can help." I wish I could do a lot more, but this is the only way I can help. And you know, if someone that's lived here before can come back 
and say, I see what you guys are doing, I want to help, then that speaks a lot. Because if it wasn't good, <laughs> if resources are not put, um, being put to use, trust me, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have tried to, or come back to make any contribution, but I do, I do see how my life was touched. And what a good job YWS, YWS is doing. So the experience here was, I, I would say when I got in, I found a family that I did not have or I hadn't had. Mm -hmm.